Okay. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening, teacher. Hi, Eduardo. Hello, good evening, teacher. Hi, Aite. How are you today? I'm fine, teacher. And you? Okay, good. Excellent. Ready to start another class. Okay. Hey, George. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing? Okay, I'm doing fine. I okay. feel very good, but a little uh, I had the, yeah, a little problem with the weather. Oh, really? My house, my house is hot, really, really oh, yes. hot. Yes, now it's been, this day is been well. Yes. Uh, this day has been hot like some other days too, right? Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I feel the same. In my words. But it's beginning to to change a little bit, right? A little bit, let's say, uh, cool in this moment. Yes. Okay. All right, good. Okay, and what are the, the others? Sleeping at home. Okay. Aide, what do you do, Aide? Where do you work? Hi there. Hi, teacher. Where Where do you work? I don't finish. <laughs> huh? I don't finish. No, I mean, if you do, you have a job? No. Oh no, you're not working in these days. No. No, just you are in the house all the time. Yes. Ah, okay, good. All right, good. And Eduardo, how do you feel today? Better than yesterday? I am better. Okay, good. All right, great. Excellent. Well, we're gonna start with the exercise that we had last night. And we'll see if the others join a little bit later. Let's see what we have for today. Here. Hey teacher, uh, I have a little problem with the uh, meter exactly uh, in exercise letter B. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. What was the problem? Uh, when I when I read in the sentences, mm -hmm. uh, my language is not correct. Okay. Yeah, remember that if there is one one period, one capital letter. Yes, I do it, but uh, I don't know what happened. <laughs> there must be something, right? Okay. Okay, let me check. Uh, what exercise is it? Letter B. Letter. Rewriting. Letter B. Rewriting. Rewriting. Yes. Okay. I will check it and I will let you know, right? Okay, thank you so much. Uh -huh. Yes, because uh, yes, because sometimes it's just a little thing, you know, that <laughs> we do I different. I mean, it, ha it happens to me sometimes when I, uh, I sometimes I check the exercises, I do it and it's wrong. And then I, I see and probably because I missed a point or one more space, I don't know, it's very... Uh, okay. I, Probably, probably the sentence. Yes, I right? have problem with this exercise, teacher. The same. Let it be. Uh huh. Okay. So let I me will... check. let me check it, and then I will, I will, okay. I will see what the problem is, and then okay. I let you know. Okay. Thank good. you so much. No problem. All right. Okay. This is what we were checking last night, right? The reading. Uh, this was the reading comprehension. Okay, good. And we had a question here. That is, for example, this in English, they call the reference. Okay. The reference is, for example, when you look for a pronoun, I, you, he, she, my, you, them, him. Sometimes 
if you use them, but they are referring to to something Par in this one. previously in the paragraph, right? Paragraph. Uh -huh. For example, you have the, the here you, there are two possibilities, people and animals, okay? People and animals because they are plural, we need them, okay? Protection, in this case, no, because it's uh, singular. It should be it. So then, if you see in the part one, line two, animal. Uh, uh -huh, it refers to what? Animals. To protect animals. 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 Okay. Let's see. Okay. Gender sentence. A day in Mexico is a day when people ask for protection, protection. ask for, protect, uh, for, for protection for their animals by bringing them. Okay, this them is referring to animals. Animals. Okay. All right. All right. And we go back here and then we click on animals. Good. What about the second one? In part. Two, line two, paragraph two, line two, lunar calendar, Koreans or Chu Sok. It should be lunar calendar because it's singular, Koreans now because it's plural, and Chu Sok. These are the two options. This is when you, that you can use the elimination process, right? But then we go to paragraph two, paragraph two, line two. Then it says in August 15 of the lunar calendar, Korean celebrate Chuseok, also Absolutely. known as Korean yeah. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. It is a day when people give thanks for the heart. So the Chuseok, it is a day. It Chuseok. Chuseok. Okay. So then we click here, yeah. right? But, <laughs> but it's not in the line two. Huh? It's not in the line two. Ronnie, it's not, it's not <laughs> in the line two. In the line one. No. Yes, here in the line two. Wow. The word it, it the uh, word it is on the second line. The line two, preparing yes. to choose up. That is oh, one. Okay. Uh -huh. But yes, I got it. You got, got it. it. Uh -huh. Because you are looking for this one. Okay. Yes, what? No, not for the word. The uh -huh. What does this word Please. refers to? Because okay. it's a different uh, reference. It's a reference, exactly. Oh, so then okay. this is the reference, and the reference okay. for this is here. So the word it oh, in the, okay. on the, the second line. Okay? Yes. Good. I got it. I got it. Uh, good question. Good question. Yes. Okay, three. There, paragraph two, line four. Okay, there, Korean families. Ancestors or people? People. Okay. Korean families. Korean families. Paragraph two, line four. Korean families. Korean, Korean families. Then it's a day when they give thanks for the harvest. Korean families honor they their ancestors. Ancestors. Okay, their ancestors by going to their graves. This is the one. Uh -huh. To their graves. What graves? Ancestors. Korean family or ancestors? Korean families. Korean families. families. Are you sure? Yes. 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 Okay. Let me see. Is your is your is your is your exercise okay? Number one. Number one is part part two line four okay. Then. Uh, number four, paragraph three, line five. Women, men, or bracelets? Men. men. One of these two, right? The three men. The single. It's men. It's men. It's women. Paragraph men. three, line five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, it says, although he didn't arrive at the time to help her, he kept the bracelet as a sign of the bond between them okay today in india during the festival of, of reiki 
men promise to be loyal to their women. Okay. So then we said it is. How about it? The word is them. Men. Men. Is men. And they say in change, the women give them. Okay. Men. Five. Hey, teach, hey teacher. Uh huh. How do you say loyal? In Spanish. Uh, what yes. No, what no, in, in English. Loyal is loyal. 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 Devil? Lawyer. Lawyer. No, lawyer is the occupation. Lawyer. Okay. This is loyal. Leal. Ah, uh -huh. lawyer. Ah, Leo. No. Lawyer. Yes. Lawyer. Uh, this lawyer. paragraph four, line five, line four. This. Midnight or New Year's Eve. Which one? New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve. Okay, number four. New Year's Eve. We can New have Year. a midnight fireworks everywhere and continue tonight. This is a day when friends and family meet for five. How was that one? New Year's Eve. Okay. New Year's Eve. And last, them. Beans. 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 Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay, good, good. Number three, Korean families. Shoe sock. Excellent. Okay. So then this is reading reading comprehension right okay i told you the other day that for example there are different strategies that we use right the scan right remember the scan look for a specific words or a specific information skimming is when we read the headlines of the newspaper or an article and then we we have an idea in our mind about the topic right and this one is about reference, right? So then that previous to this word, previous to the pronoun, that is a reference. Okay, suppose if I say, uh, eh, tell him, Gio, please tell him. What do you understand, Gio? I have to say something to someone. Uh huh. But who is that someone? All them. I, you don't know, right? You only know that is a man because I say. Yeah. Men. But I don't know why. Uh -huh. You don't have the you don't have the yeah. reference. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Then if I say, for example, uh, please call Ronnie and tell him, okay, that we have a party tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So then, then you have the, the information. Reference. You have yeah. the complete information, right? But you see, yeah. him is a reference to something that it was previously said or written okay so that's why that's and this is the in the, comp, the reading comprehension this is what we do to identify exactly what this word is referring to okay so good i think uh we are clear on this now okay here Okay, I think and this is the midterm, right? Yes. Okay, the so mid then uh -huh. then do it and tomorrow, tomorrow I already have the part B. Okay, if you haven't done that part, okay, leave it in blank. If you have problems with that one, and do the rest, right? And tomorrow I will check I will check this part and then uh I tell you what the problem can be, okay, if you have any problems. Okay, so then and tomorrow we will not have a brief 
review of this one. Okay, this is the listening, the reading. We have matching as well. Okay, and then we have the section four. Okay, so let's continue with this. Uh, Carlos, can you please read the uh, objective here? Carlos? Oh, we don't, we don't hear you. Okay. Okay. Now? Yes. Okay. In, the, in this class, you will be exposed to an audio word examples of facts, present and future tense are use. Use. Okay, good. So now we're going to have an exposure to listening, right? Listening exercise about the three different tenses, past, present, and future. Let's see. In a single conversation, pay attention and try to identify the tenses they are using. Change. Part A. Listen and practice. This neighborhood sure has changed. I know. A few years ago, not many people lived here, but the population is growing so fast these days. Yeah, it seems like there's a construction site on every corner. Remember how we used to buy candy at that little grocery store? Now it's a multiplex cinema. Yeah, and they're tearing down our high school. They're going to build a shopping mall. Soon there will be just malls and parking lots. That's because everyone has a car. 50 years ago, people walked everywhere. Nowadays, they drive. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What else has changed in their neighborhood? Well, what about that old bookstore? Do you know if it's still there? No, it's not. Now it's a pizzeria. Really? Let's go check it out. All this talk about change is making me hungry. Did you get the tenses? Did you notice how they use simple past and know it's present and future? Stay with us so you can learn to do the same. Hello and welcome back. We're about to listen to different tenses in a single conversation. Pay attention and try to identify the tenses they are using. This video. Part A. Listen and practice. It sure has changed. I know. A few years ago, not many people lived here, but the population is growing so fast these days. Yeah, it seems like there's a construction site on every corner. Remember how we used to buy candy at that little grocery store? Now, we can play cinema. Yeah, and they're tearing down our high school. They're going to build a shopping mall. Soon there will be just malls and parking lots. That's because everyone has a car. 50 years ago, people walked everywhere. Nowadays, they drive. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What else has changed in their neighborhood? Well, what about that old bookstore? Do you know if it's still there? No, it's not. Now it's a pizzeria. Really? Let's go check it out. All this talk about change is making me hungry. You get the tenses? Hello and welcome. Okay. Back. We're about to listen to different tenses in a single conversation. Pay attention and try to identify the tenses they are using. This neighborhood has changed. Okay. To start with, you know, this neighborhood has changed. 
what tense is that? It's not present, it's not past, it's not future. What tense are we using there? Perfect, present, present. Okay, the present perfect, that's correct, present. okay. Part A, listen and practice. This neighborhood sure has changed. I know. A few years ago, not many people lived here. Okay, when he says, I know, what tense is it? Simple present. Simple present. Okay. Simple present too. Then a few years ago, not many people lived here. Uh huh. Uh, simple past. Simple past. Simple past. Okay. But the population is growing so fast. La contaminación. Huh? Present continuous. Present continuous. Present right? continuous. Right. Continuous. See how they are mixing right now, like three, four different tenses. Yeah. It seems like there's a construction site on every corner. It seems there is a construction. That one? It seems there is a construction. Uh, simple present. Construction site on every corner. Population is growing so fast. Yeah, it seems like there's a construction site on every corner. There is a construction sign on every corner. Simple, present, right? Remember how we used to buy candy at that little grocery store? We used to buy. That is? Simple past. Simple past. Now it's a multiplex cinema. Yeah, and they're tearing down our high school. They're going to build a shopping mall. Soon they are going to build a shopping mall. That is future, right? They are going to build. It'll be just malls and parking lots. That's because everyone has a car. Fifty years ago, people walked everywhere. Okay, everyone has a car. Present. Fifty years ago, people walked. Okay, past tense. Past tense. Listen to the breakfast. Nowadays, they drive. Well, what about that old bookstore? Do you know if it's still there? No, it's not. Now it's a pizza. Really? Oh. Let's go check it out. Mm. All this talk about change is making me hungry. Did you get the tenses? Did you notice how they use simple past along with present and future? Stay with us so you can learn to do the same. Okay. Hello and welcome back. We're about now listen one more time just for you to, I mean, the idea here is that you can see how the combination of, uh, of tenses is important to express an idea clearly, okay? Or in a conversation, in this case, to talk about things that used to be that were in the past, things that are now, and things that probably will be in the future, or are going to be in the future. Okay, now listen. How to listen to different tenses in a single conversation. Pay attention and try to identify the tenses they are using. This neighborhood has changed. Part A, listen and practice. This neighborhood sure has changed. I know. A few years ago, not many people lived here, but the population is growing so fast these days. Yeah, it seems like there's a construction site on every corner. Remember how we used to buy candy at that little grocery store? Now it's a multiplex cinema. Yeah, and they're tearing down our high school. They're going to build a shopping mall. Soon there will be just malls and parking lots. That's because everyone has a car. Fifty years ago, people walked everywhere. Nowadays, they drive. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What else has changed in their neighborhood? 
Well, what about that old bookstore? Do you know if it's still there? No, it's not. Now it's a pizzeria. Really? Let's go check it out. All this talk about change is making me hungry. Did you get the tenses? Did you notice how they use simple past along with present and future? Stay with us so you can learn to do the same. Okay, good. Okay, Gio, can you please read this uh, objective here? At the end of this class, you will be able to describe events using time contrast between the past, present, and future. Okay. Time contrast. Hello everyone, before you watch your video, we want you to write on our discussion box expressions that you already know, which are used in the past, present, and future. Time contrasts. Past. A few years ago, not many people lived here. Present. These days, the population is growing so fast. Future. Soon, there will be a lot of shopping malls. People used to shop at grocery stores. Today, people shop at supermarkets. In 20 years, people might buy groceries by computer. 50 years ago, people walked everywhere. Nowadays, people drive their cars instead. In the future, people are going to use cars even more. We noticed you wrote some time expressions related to past, present, and future. Well done. Now let's talk a bit about time contrast. This helps us to talk about perhaps a same situation that we have lived over the years and we want to make reference since it happened, taking it to our present and imagining it in a future. The trick here is for us to use verbs properly in its right tense along with time expressions. Let's go over the chart. In the first column, we talk about past and we use some expressions like a few years ago, or people used to, or 15 years ago, and our verbs are in past. We use live and walk. Let's move on to the present and here we use these days, today or nowadays and of course our verbs are going, shop and drive which are in the present. Last but not least we have our future using expressions such as soon, in 20 years, in the future. Therefore we use verbs in future, will be, might buy, are going to use. Time contrast is easy to use, just double check on your verb. Think about it as one sentence per ten. We will now give you more time expressions that you may use with each tense. Past expression, at that time, in the past, then. Present expression, currently, in the meantime, now. Future expression, in the next couple of years, next in the near future. Now we want you to write a short description about how has your life changed using the expressions below. Make sure you do it and present it to your teacher to make sure you did it right. Okay, here we go again. We're gonna watch once more and now I want you to take notes of the expressions and uh, well, in the last uh, task, the last activity, okay, that they are presenting. And then after, I'm going to tell you how we're going to do this. Hello, everyone. Before you watch your video, we want you to write on our discussion box expressions that you already know, which are used in the past, present, and future. Time contrasts. Past. A few years ago, not many people lived here. Present. These days, the population is growing so fast. Future. Soon, there will be a lot of shopping malls. People used to shop at grocery stores. Today, people shop at supermarkets. In 20 years, people might buy groceries by computer. 
50 years ago, people walked everywhere. Nowadays, people drive their cars instead. In the future, people are going to use cars even more. We know if you wrote some fun expressions related to past, present, and future. Well done. Now let's talk a bit about time contrast. This helps us to talk about perhaps a same situation that we have lived over the years and we want to make reference since it happened, taking it for present and imagining it in a future. The trick here is for us to use the verbs properly in its right tense along with time expressions. Let's go over the chart. In the first column, we talk about past and we use time expressions like a few years ago, or people used to, or 15 years ago. And our verbs are in past. We use sleep and walk. Let's move on to the present, and here we use these days, today, or nowadays. And of course, our verbs are growing, shop, and drive, which are in the present. Last but not least, we have our future using expressions such as soon, in 20 years, in the future. Therefore, we use verbs in future. Will be, might buy, are going to use. Time contrast is easy to use, just double check on your verbs. Think about it as one sentence per tense. We will now give you more time expressions that you may use to eat. Past expressions. At that time, in the past, then. Present expressions. Currently, in the meantime, now. Future expressions. In the next half of year, next, in the near future. Now we want you to write a short description about how has your life changed using the expressions below. Make sure you do it and present it to your teacher to make sure you did it right. Okay, good. Now, um, I think let me check. Wait, it went to the wrong group. Okay. Okay, there in the WhatsApp group, you have the, the expressions at the end of the... We have it. Okay, good. Did you see the expressions? Okay, now, now we're going to work in groups and then you're going to uh, practice creating a, a story like the one that they suggest in the video using those expressions, right? So we have now, uh, let me see. There are 18 people, so we have uh, groups of three, okay, so that you can start working. And I'm gonna give you 10 minutes, okay? 10 minutes to create the story. And when you come back, when we come, and then we'll visit your group, and then when we come back, uh, each group is going to read the story that you wrote, okay? So you can choose a name, okay? Uh, and then start uh, giving ideas on how to, one of you is gonna be the secretary, right? And then you're going to, or the three of you can write, but one of you is going to read it to the rest of the class. Okay, you get it? Okay, okay here we go. So we have uh, six groups, five, six, exactly. Okay, three participants. Here we go, get your, accept your invitations. Okay.
chat with people by people, messenger. Yeah. Yeah, by yeah, messenger. yeah, by passing. Yeah, yeah. Okay, how are you doing? No questions, no problem. We are, we are on that. Gio, Gio is telling <laughs> to us a history, but it's okay. <laughs> it's, a, it's a little bit twisted. Yeah, ah, normal. <laughs> normal. Wow. <laughs> it is normal. <laughs> okay. The question is, what's normal for you, Gio? <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> I'm just kidding, right? Okay, good. So if you have no questions, okay, keep on mm. right? Yeah, okay. we're clear, I think. Okay, good. My homework. You want to listen? Hi, teacher. Hello. Any questions? We're, Is it clear? No. Uh huh. Oh, um, all is clear. <laughs> okay, perfect. Yeah. Okay, you. then keep on working. Okay, thank you. <laughs> my, my homework and to go out. go out to the house. From the house to the house. To, to the house. To the house. I guess. From the house. It depends what you're it talking about. We talk about the when the, the kids don't want to play out of the house just play yes. video games and, and console console games console games video console games yes i have console games and, and, and they, console games or video console it depends because uh there are a playstation that's a console right yes but there are some video games that you use the telephone or the computer Right, so then yes. okay. there is a little, little and, mm -hmm. and don't want to play in the street or don't yeah. want to go out from... Oh. oh, out of the house. Out of the house. Of they the don't want house. to go out of the house. They don't want to play in the street anymore. Yes, okay. Don't yes. want to go out, okay? Of the house. Out of, of the house. Out of in the future. The, the house. Uh -huh. In five years, nobody. <laughs> five years, nobody, nobody's going to go out of the house. <laughs> yeah. oh my God. Isn't that what they is? You know, the, in, in, in five nowadays, years during the quarantine, I, all the people. Yes. In, in, uh -huh. in, in, in the five years, I hope the quarantine is over. <laughs> yeah, the, you know, there is a joke. Thanks, a joke that they say that. Uh -huh. A man, a man comes from the future, right? Yeah. And then uh, he I finds guess the quarantine. He finds a, a, I remember. Uh huh. Then finds a, a man in the street and says, "Hey, what year is this?" Ah, it's 2020. Wow, that is the first year of the quarantine. Yes. Because in the future, past many, many years. Okay. Hey, look. What you have to do now is, for example, that you, just in the future, right? What is going to happen? What is going to? Try to mix all the tenses, all right? Okay. Okay, good. Thank you. Now, let's okay. see. Okay. okay. In the future, maybe the kids uh, don't do. I think it's not the correct. I work, the correct. In, oh. I work in a home, good store. Okay, that's that's good. Okay. Any questions? Um, no question. No, I think not. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, continue working then. And I'll visit another group. Okay, okay here. Teacher can salir. Or or five. Mm, five, five years ago. Uh, Five months I, future. I got it's out. Uh, no, in the, in this case, in past, it's, it's the past. Jorge. Five five years ago. Five years or five uh, yeah. five months ago. In the second. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The second. Yes, yeah. the second. Okay. For me, that's okay. Five years ago, I got out to to. Supermarket. 
Sería, I went. Or the shopping center. Ah, yes, I went, I went, sorry. Or I used to go. Sorry, teacher. Or I used to go to the supermarket. Five years ago, I used to go to the supermarket. Now I order the food. Ah, uh, okay. I mean, that's yes, a... I just I just to go. Uh huh. Just to go. That's a, an idea. Five years ago, I used to go. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, five yeah. years ago, I used to go without mask. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. I used to go. Or I used to go out. For example, uh, two months ago, I used to go out without a mask. Okay. Now mm -hmm. I have, I have to wear a mask and gloves right mm -hmm. okay gloves good mm -hmm. okay people keep on working and if okay. are you play not, nice. not play not play with my friends my friends and now we can talk about the future. Next year, we can say next year. I am going to, you yeah. can say, I am going to, I am going to plan, plan to meet with my friends. Or you can say, I am going to, next year I am going to, Play with make a party, make a meeting, oh. or make a party with my old friends. I'm going to make a meeting. Okay, that's good. That's a good idea. And then okay. Next year, I'm going to make a meeting make a, with my okay. friends. With my friends. Okay, that is that is a make a meeting with my with, you, with my friends or with your friends. It depends. Okay, with my friends. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Finish. Okay, that's right. <laughs> Finish. In five uh, in five years, I'll. In five years? In five years, I'll, I will. I will like a make excursion. <laughs> no, I don't say any spinning. Yes. <laughs> In five years, I, I, I will like. A trip? I will like. Yes. yes. A, I will make a trip. To take a so trip. I can take with, uh, uh, with my friends too, because we are talking with our friends, okay? Yeah, that's right. I That's would right. like to take a trip. With my friends. With my friends. Okay, uh, we'll trip with the friends to, to Japan. <laughs> oh, no, no, you know what it's saying. What place we can go? <laughs> we could go. We will go. China. China. <laughs> <laughs> Wuhan. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, well, why not? Yeah. 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 It's a, a, an, an adventure trip. You know? yeah. Adventure. Yeah. 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 You know, if, you, if you're lucky, you can come back alive. <laughs> uh, that's right. Okay. Okay, the last one. In 10 years. Yeah, yeah. In 10 years, yeah. I, I might. In 10 years, I might. In 10, in ten years. <laughs> I might, okay, that's right. I might. In 10 years. Uh, and on, and the number in the ID. <laughs> the ending and the, on the number in the ID. In the Louis. Uh, Teacher, I have a question. Mm -hmm. How do you say cumpliendo la cuarentena? <laughs> Cumplir, como accomplish. No. No, stay, stay in, stay in home. No, so I am in quarantine. Estando. The, 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 depends on the context. The what, context. Is, what, is the, how, what is the context? Uh, I am quarantined. No, in the... What is what the idea that you want to express? That we have to to be at home. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Because that, that because sometimes you know 
and that is accomplished, right? But accomplishing you stay, for example, I'm staying home because you know there is a quarantine. And then we have to fulfill that requirement. Okay, fulfill is like llenar cumplir, right? Uh, a requirement. Okay, so it's better to say, you know, I'm staying home or because yeah. I'm in quarantine. And simple, yeah. Mm -hmm. And if, for example, in, a, in, a, in the context of a couple, when mm -hmm. someone asks ask me uh, how many years we have and, and with my couple, are full, full, full film up. How okay. many years are do you have with, with, for example, when someone else asks me uh, how many years? How long have you been married, for example? Or how long have yeah, you been yeah. living with your couple? And they say four years, no, only four years. Uh -huh. But you don't say cumpliendo, right? I have like, for example, cumpleaños. It's my birthday. No like in Spanish. No. Um, mm -hmm. uh, entonces la respuesta no es como en español, como no. decimos en español nosotros, como nosotros no. estamos cumpliendo. No. For example, they say four years. We have been uh, together for four years. Y para hacer oh. la pregunta, y for how long? Years. Or how long? How long? How long? How long have you lived with your couple? You say four years. We have lived together for four years. Or how long do you have? Uh, how? Sorry. No. How long? How long? No. How, long? How, how long? long have you? Have you? Oh, uh, okay. How long have you studied English? Yes. The other okay. ones is like if you were literally translating from Spanish to English. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Okay. Thanks. All right. Okay, everybody. Now we're going back to the main station. Okay. Okay. I deal. Here I am. Okay. Ready? Ready. Okay. Good. Always ready. Yes, that's the attitude. Cool. Okay, good. Uh, well, who wants to volunteer? The first group? Okay, Gio. Gio is going to be the first. The then, shark team. Yes, and then uh, uh, Gio, <laughs> after that you can choose a victim. Okay. A Thank you so much. <laughs> I will. <laughs> I will enjoy it. Okay. Have fun. <laughs> okay. We 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 start with this. Um, okay. The we when when we was a and uh, when I was a teenager. <laughs> okay. I want to start with that. When I was a teenager. I used to connect to the internet by a modern connection, and I used to to text with people, and we I I, I meet uh, many people by messenger, and the the MSN Microsoft MSN, and nowadays uh, we have a lot of social media to give us a better connection with people, and we that uh, we can uh, share so many photos and, and media and we think Maybe. that in, in, in 10 years uh, we might communicate by holograms and even more we can share i don't know maybe some uh physical objects maybe i don't know <laughs> and that's it yeah okay good uh, only one, right? When you say we, I used to meet. We say I, I, I meet. I met. I met. I met ah. people. Yes. Hey, I remember. Yeah, that's true. Uh, we used to have the the modem, and also remember that when the, when the sound with the sound also. Sound? Uh, yeah. 
in the <laughs> in the telephone, right? Yeah. yeah. Big noise. Yeah, you have to wait a lot. Uh -huh, you have to wait. And you have a little uh, a little disc sometimes <laughs> also. <laughs> Uh -huh. yeah, and somebody they, says, yes. hey, why, why don't make a call, man? Yeah, uh -huh. somebody wants <laughs> to. Hang up the thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nobody yeah. could use the phone, you know, because you were connected yeah. to the internet. Yes, that was, yeah. Yeah, that was great. That was I remember great. the Latin chat. <laughs> <laughs> no, but what was the other one? Mes messenger, right? Messenger. Yeah, messenger. The messenger. Hi-fi, yes, yeah. Hi-fi, yes, I remember yeah. that was another one that we used to <laughs> at the beginning of it, right? Yes, yeah, the yeah, messenger yeah. was very funny, you know, to, to have that connection. Okay, good. Excellent, Gio. Uh, who's, who's your victim? Uh, my victim, it will be, I know, she she know, she know already know. knows it. She already knows yeah. it. Yeah, she already knows it. Okay. Xiomara. <laughs> Xiomara. <laughs> Okay, good. No. <laughs> you, you have just been, uh, you know, victimized by Gio. Sorry. You, you, you are sacrificed. <laughs> okay. Okay, go uh, ahead. Topic is the coronavirus. Coronavirus. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Coronavirus. Oh, <yeah. laughs> Please, we don't have okay. to hear about this. Don't talk about that. <laughs> this is real. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. As a child, I used to, I used to play in the park with my friends. Uh, nowadays, I can get out. I hope next year, I going to find the the bastion. And five years ago, I used to go without mask and gloves. Today, go to the. Today, go to the people. Go to the supermarket with take care and using social distancing. In five years, the people will remember this pandemic. In ten years, I might uh, be a bad memory. <laughs> Yeah, actually, it would be mm -hmm. okay. Okay, good. All right. So then, uh, this is you know, for example, what happened in the past that we used to go out, you know, with without a mask, and now we have to be wearing all kind of protection, right? Probably. Uh, uh, well, I have I have read that it's gonna take like two years at least, you know, to find the cure and start, you know, disappearing a little bit about all this this issue, right? Okay, good. Thank you very much, uh, Samara. Choose a victim. Choose a victim. Mm, okay. <laughs> Let, let's see if you're lucky. There were five um, groups. Uh -huh. Ronnie. Ronnie, yes. Ronnie was in a different group, I guess, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. You, you are. <laughs> you say, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Ronnie says, Gary. We just said a, no, a little pain because in, in that in that response. <laughs> <laughs> I said, yes, yeah, so, uh, okay. <laughs> okay, Ronnie, go ahead. Uh, I don't have the note, but my classmate Who? have the, Who the has note. It? Veronica and Yesenia. Okay. I guess. What? Would you help me? Then, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I write. Okay, no, Ronnie. I, I, I don't, I don't write the, the, the yes. sentences. Ronnie is going to pass the ball to Yesenia. Yesenia yes. has the ball in this moment. I'm a, a, I'm a gentleman. <laughs> yes. The, the, the first, the woman, <laughs> the ladies first. first. Yes. Now, uh, first. Okay. Yeah, the ladies you. first. Yesenia, uh, you, have, yes. you have the hot potato in this moment. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. Yesenia. Before... Yes, thanks. <laughs> uh, a few years ago, uh, the kids play on the street with another kid and toys. They play soccer, basketball. They played the soccer, basketball, high and seek, jumping, the rock. But now, in these days, the kids only play the video games on the phone, computers, video console, and don't want to play in the street. Uh, we've, 
we uh, think uh, in the future maybe the kids will be played uh, with ¿Cómo se dice, Ronnie? Ar argument <laughs> Argument reality Argument reality reality I guess Argument reality Argument reality Augmented Augmented reality. Uh -huh. argument oh, no, oh, augmented. Augmented, uh, ah, augmented reality, yes, increase. Yes. Mariana. Uh -huh. Yes, augmented reality. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, the friends only uh, in chat virtual and the school uh, will be only uh, online. Okay. That's all. You know, but in, in that case, you have an advantage, right? Because your school is now online. Now in the future, yes. it's going to be for the kids. So you will be prepared for that. In the future, may, maybe the class done better improve because the many many teachers don't want to do online. Yes, yes, yes. Because they they are uh, older teachers. Elder, elderly. <laughs> oh, elderly. Uh, elder. Elder. Oh, old for the old school teachers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> and don't now want to the, use the, the technology. The yeah. Now, yes, now in, in the school, the teacher are the parents. Yes. Uh -huh. It's very yes. hard to. Yes. It's and we to... don't have patience. Yeah. Patience. And we, <laughs> yes. we are. And we are paid for nothing. Yes, that's true. Yes. You know because you know we have to. And, and, and they don't don't want yeah. to learn learn about it. Yes, that's true. So there will be a lot of changes, right? That that will yes. bring that will bring a lot of changes to the to the family, to the society, to the yes, like um to the learning process, different ways of learning for children, right? In this case, you know, for example, in your case, it's different because you are interested in learning English, right? Yeah. But you know, yes. children, I mean, they they feel happy now because they are in front of the computer, but yes. not because they want to learn, right? And then. Uh, but after that, when they have to do the homework, uh, they don't want to do it. And then the parents, we have to put pressure on them. Okay, do the homework, do this, and then I don't understand. Okay, okay you have to teach. <laughs> and that's why, you know, Eric, Eric said that we're paying for nothing. <laughs> Somehow, it's, it's like that. Okay, very good. Okay. Then, uh, Jesenia, you have the right to choose a victim, pick a victim from another group. Jesse, you don't want to use the right. We lost Jesse. Yesenia. Yesenia chose another victim. Hi. Yes. Okay, 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 okay. Um the another group. Eric, Eric Monge. Eric? Uh, no, Eric was with uh, uh -huh. Gio, I guess. With Gio. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Another uh, one. Another Diego one? Merino. Diego. Diego was in another group, I guess. It's my pleasure, lady. Okay. <laughs> um, with my group, we we were talking about uh, when what we did with when we were, when we were a child. As when a we child, were children. Children. All right. As a child, I used to play with my cousins and with with toys and fly kites. We used to play marbles in the street with with them, and we. Uh, I went to the elementary school. My parents helped me to to do my homework, and nowadays I I can do my homework as I can do my homework by myself, mm -hmm. and also my my parents and can't help me anymore. To do my homework to do it so um, in the future um, I will I will do my homework um, by myself and that's that's it <laughs> okay yeah that's good excellent you use past present and future very good excellent okay Diego there is one more group and see if you are lucky and you can choose the one person from the other group. Um, Roberto Barahona. Baraka, yes, Roberto. 
Roberto was in the group. I don't know, Roberto, if you're going to read or I think yes. Eduardo was there. Okay, I want, okay. I want to read. Okay, go ahead. Okay. When I was a child, I used to play soccer with my neighborhood. Five years ago, five years ago, <laughs> I usually uh, met them in the park every weekend. No ways, I not play with them. Next year, I'm going to make a meeting for a meeting with them. In five years, I would like to take a trip with them. In 10 years, I might make a meeting to watch the World's Cup. A uh, meeting to watch? The World's Cup. The World's Cup. Oh, the, wor the World Cup. Yeah. Okay, next, next year. No, no, in two years, right? 10 years. <laughs> Ten years. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. But if if we have if El Salvador goes there, <laughs> I, I'm not going to watch another World Cup. Only if El Salvador is there, then I'm going. To. Okay. okay. <laughs> so that means that means never. Okay. Okay. Good. All right, people. So then this is the idea, right? How you can the idea is mixing your chances. Okay. And sometimes this example or this exercise, when we are talking about ourselves, is easier to combine tenses, right? You, you can use all the tenses, you know, for example, all the tenses when you are talking about yourself. For example, you can say, okay, now, okay, my name is, my name is Yohadayam, I, I work as an English teacher, I have four sisters, uh, I live in, I live in Lourdes, okay? When I was a child, I used to play soccer every day. Uh, I didn't like to study very much, but I really enjoy uh, two subjects, you know, they were English and math. Then you see I'm already using present and past, right? Yes, uh, right. Now I have worked, present perfect, now mm -hmm. I have worked as a teacher for more than 25 years. And I have enjoyed a lot my job. I think it is a nice uh, experience, you know, working as a teacher. Okay, then you see how I'm combining, right? Uh, in the future, I think I will change my uh, teaching strategies because uh, education is changing a lot. So I just like five different senses talking about myself. Right, just in past, present, uh, future, present perfect, okay? So this is how you can practice the senses, okay? Uh, like writing your, your biography, right? Writing like, you know, autobiography, okay, that can help you, you know, to organize your ideas, practice vocabulary, and practice the, the verb tenses. Okay, tomorrow we're going, we are going to continue with this practice, okay? So if you have any questions, uh, let me know. And tomorrow we're going to check, uh, well, I'm going to check the, that part of the text, of the test, that some of you have had problems, and, We'll see it at the beginning of the class, okay? So okay. have a very good night, people. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, sleep okay. well. Tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow. Okay. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. As much tomorrow. as you can. Bye. Bye bye. Have a night. Bye bye. Good pleasure. Good night. Thank you. Thank you.